can show it to you guys here. Mm -hmm. Obviously, with the way the season went, their mid points were maybe just feel like it might have been likely to look to get to the finals, even if it didn't. Is there a lot that you can take away positive from this? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, we never gave up. Like, I feel like our entire team is full of competitors. Um, you know, you just see it how we work out, how we interact with each other. Um, so I don't think that ever lost our mind. But, um, you know, not winning, you know, it's just more motivation, you know, especially for me being so young you know, getting to the finals this early. Like, I know what it takes. I know, you know, the just the ways around it. And we'll do, you know, everything we can to get back there next year. And, you know, just because you're in an elimination game or whatever the case may be, like, it's still possible. So. That's one thing I wanted to ask you is this team has got all these veterans, but you've got to have younger players too because mm -hmm. you need to keep, you know, the momentum going. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what they told you up there, but I'm assuming they see you as part of that, that, that you can be, keep developing, keep developing, you can be a part of, a bigger part of this team going forward. Yeah, I think that's like the positive thing about my game is that um, I continue to get better, um, you know, in the off season or just season by season, like going from overseas to here, like I feel like I've grown in so many different ways. Um, on the floor and off the floor, but it's just about my work ethic. Um, attending University of Connecticut, you know, that's one thing we never settled. And coming here, just being around D, B, G, Scott, like that was the best thing I feel like that happened for my career. Um, being around um, such as talented players as them and getting to learn from them every day. Obviously, to start the season when Diana goes out, she gets mm -hmm. slotted right into the starting lineup in that place. The world kind of had to change and adapt over the season as people came back. Yeah. What do you kind of take away from? the way that your role kind of went as the season went along. Mm -hmm. I mean, for me, honestly, like my uh, path has never been easy. It's never been um, smooth. You know, I feel like um, in my case, like I'm, I grow the most when I'm uncomfortable. Um, and so this year was definitely about growth. Like last year, I didn't even really play. You know, this is my first full year of playing and getting you know, one year of the WNBA under my belt and actually being on the floor. So whether that was, you know, filling in for D2 when she needed me to or um, coming off the bench or whatever it is, playing, uh, you know, supportive role. Uh, I'm here for it, you know, just because one thing happens to you, it doesn't define you. Post, you know what I'm saying? That I feel like that's, you know, like you're more valuable to your team when you can do multiple things. So. Going back to your same location overseas, or going to no. So I'm not going to Hungary. I'm going to uh, Spain in the Canary Islands, uh, Tenerife, okay. Ten or Tenerife. And so. um, I think you've got some good. Um, because your first WNBA season was large. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got a lot out of that. You feel like this is important. Yeah, to definitely go overseas and yeah, get opportunity to play. And it's a different um, role uh, on a team. So it'll be two, I think two Americans. Um, last year, I mean, I played on Showroom, but that's a Euro League level team. Like now it's Euro Cup. So just for me, I just want to continue to get better, continue to get more confident and, you know, just come back here and the ultimate goal is to win a championship. And I feel like we got all the tools to do that. Yeah, so I'm, I'm excited. Black sand beaches, uh, you know, just the travel. I love like seeing new places, new things, uh, just like, you know, for the experience. The playing time is probably the most valuable thing, right? So, playing time? Yeah, the playing time for you is just to get as much playing time as you can. Yeah, time. yeah, I agree. I mean, that's, I feel like that's the whole thing about overseas uh, is to get better. You know, I mean, the money part, too. But for me, I don't feel like it's about the money. It's, you know, to play and really get, you know, get going. All right. We'll go over to Zoom. We'll go to Danny Thompson. Megan, Danny Thompson, three-point conversion. Great to see you and great season uh, for you this year. Uh, just one quick one. As you get ready to go overseas, um, was there anything that the coaches might have told you to work on as far as your game goes? Or anything that yourself that you're saying, you know what, I want to be better at this? So by the time you get back for training camp next year, you'll be at a whole nother level next year? Um, they really just talked to me about being consistent, a more consistent shot maker. Um, but, you know, I just feel like it's mental. Um, I'm not going to put too much, uh, you know, pressure on myself about making shots. You know what I'm saying? That's something that's going to come as you get more comfortable and, you know, just get into a flow of things. So I'm not wor really worried about um, – making shots, you know, I've done that for however many years now. Um, so it's just getting better at my weaknesses, like getting to the lane, finishing over big uh, opponents, um, making the right pass, um, being able to guard the best uh, opposing team's best player. Um, things like that um, will be my focus going overseas and coming back uh, next year.
Have a great have a great trip to Spain. Thank you. Thanks, Megan. Sit. <laughs>